Hello, my name is Drew James, and you've just been watching me performing my version, my fingerstyle version of Numb by Linkin Park. Uh, now, this is going to be a two-parter lesson because there's quite a bit to get through. Um, this lesson is kind of aimed at people who have been learning guitar for a little while, maybe six months to a year, and they're looking um, to get started on fingerstyle guitar. It's not very intermediate, you know, you're not going to find it really difficult. There's a lot of open strings, a lot of common chords like E minor and C that you're going to know how to play. And I'm going to be breaking it down for you, showing you how to do what fingers to use and uh, how to get the rhythm right. And also uh, with all of my fingerstyle lessons, this does come with free tab. Okay, so to get started on all of that, so this first part video um, is going to be released this week and then the next one is going to be released next week, all right? Um, and this first part we're going to be doing, well, the first half of the song. To get hold of the tab, all you need to do is sign up for free to the student area of my website. It just takes a name and an email address and then you can print out the tab and have it alongside with the video uh, so that you've got a full performance and an awesome sort of fingerstyle instrumental of uh, what's fast becoming a, a classic song. Um, so. To do that, you can just either use the link in the video description or there'll always be a link here up above uh, where you can click to, um, to get started to download that tab at any time you like. So without further ado, let's have a look at how to play it and um, start on part one. Now I'm going to be teaching you the finger picking rule, which uh, won't take me long to get through. Um, and it's very, very important. So um, it's also gonna mean that if you don't understand how to do it, then you're not going to be able to follow the lesson. So it's very important that you get this part straight away, okay? The finger picking rule is this. The thumb only ever plays the top three strings, unless I tell you differently, okay? Rules are always there to be broken, but mostly it plays the top three strings. The index finger plays the G string, the fourth string down. The middle finger plays the B string. And the ring finger plays the bottom string, the E. So if I'm saying, okay, we're going middle ring, that means middle ring. Even if we're holding down something here, say for example, and I say middle ring, we'd be going middle on the three and then ring on a zero or index. And if I do say thumb, I'll usually tell you what string it is. Sometimes I don't, and that's the reason why it's a good idea to make sure you have the tab near you. Uh, obviously you can um, go back on the lesson and watch the full performance at the end of the video to double check. So let's get started with that intro. Okay, so I'm starting with uh, middle finger playing an open B string. And then with this ring finger, I'm hammering it, I'm hitting it into the third fret. Now, if you find that difficult, you can pick it. So that's picking it with this hand, but I'd like you to try and go. So hit this finger into the wood of the guitar. Notice I'm not picking anything, look. Okay, so hit into the wood like you're closing your fist basically onto the guitar and slam your callus against it. So open, hammer, then flick. Now flicking means you dig your callus, you dig your finger into the string and you flick it away to cause a sound like that. Okay, now, now you could, as I said, just pick it. But I think it sounds a little bit nicer just to do a hammer on. Okay, then thumb on the top string, ring finger on the bottom. Third fret on the thinnest string with the ring finger. Then this finger, second fret on the thinnest string. Then ring finger on the third fret on the B string, middle finger on the third fret on the A string, pinch, thumb on the A, middle on the B. Repeat that hammer on pull off idea. Then, third fret on the thickest string, third fret also on the thinnest string. Try to follow my fingers that I'm using here. Pinch those two, thumb and ring. An index playing the two on the thinnest string, then zero on that string. All the while, try to leave this three ringing throughout the bar so it's still going. 
so far. Then put the ring back on the third fret on the B string, thumb on the D here and middle finger. Okay, then we're into um, the uh, intro kind of extended, I'll call it. So let's put it all together up to that point now. Well done so far. Okay, then we're gonna do the same idea. So that's open hammer flick on the th third fret on the B, and then we're gonna do this. So what I'm doing is I'm introducing a bit more rhythm um, so we're doing a pinch, then middle index, then to the third fret on the thinnest string and doing the same, well not without, no pinch, but ring, middle, index. Then to the second fret on the E string, then ring, middle. So that is, bar goes like this. Then to these same three. So what you're doing on this hand is very, very similar to what we have been doing, but we're just doing more picking with this hand. Um, pinching those threes, that's thumb on the A string, middle finger. So I just want you to put your index also on the second fret on the um, D string. So it's like a C chord. So that's pinch, index, thumb on the D, index. Then hammering on again, same idea. Hammer on a flick off. Then to these threes, okay. Top and bottom string. Then middle index on the open strings. Then second fret, and that's ring middle index. Then lift it up and ring index. So I'll do all of it from when it goes into sort of more embellished intro, okay? So listen. Okay, and finally, put the ring finger on the B string on the third fret, pinch with thumb and middle finger, and put the index finger down here on the second fret, like you're doing a D chord, okay, but I just don't bother putting my finger on the bottom string. Thumb and middle on the pinch, thumb on the D string, middle finger on the string it would go on. Then index, thumb, index. Okay, so I'm gonna do everything up to that point now. Okay, so that's everything, the whole intro. And then we'll get into verse one. Let's do a count and see if you can play along with me. Uh, it'll be after um, three. One, two, three. Well done so far. Okay, let's have a look at the next part. So, now for some reason, I prefer to make an E minor for this. So that's a middle finger on the second fret on the A string, ring finger on the second fret on the D string. The reason I say for some reason, because the only actual two that we play out of that E minor is this finger here, but I still like to use an E minor. Um, and I suggest you do the same. And now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna go thumb on the open E, thumb on the D. So you're gonna to need to learn to skip with your thumb. Then middle, middle. Then pinch, thumb and middle, then middle. Then first fret on the B string, and then lift up to a middle. I'll do it again. Then, I like to go to a C chord, okay? Ring finger on the third fret on the A string, um, middle finger on the second fret on the D string, 
and uh, index finger here, although we don't use that index at all. In fact, definitely don't put that down, actually. Um, but I base a lot of this stuff off chords. So we're going to pinch that thumb and middle finger, thumb on the A string. Sorry, we don't pinch it. Sorry, it's thumb on the A string, middle finger on the open B, then move your, this middle finger down on your left hand to the G string, playing that, then play it open. So it's, then put it back to where it came from on a regular C, play that with your thumb, then index, thumb, index. I'll do that bar again. And from the minor part, Okay, good so far. Bring the ring finger up to the third fret on the uh, E string, pinching thumb and middle. Middle finger onto the second fret on the G string, whilst leaving this held down if you can. Two, zero, then put it back. The beat, one and two and three and four. So I'll do that for you again slowly. Index, lift up index, then put it back. Then thumb on the open D string here. So that bar is. Then lift up everything. Pinching thumb on the D string and middle finger. Then second fret on the G string. Lift it up, play it again, and then put it back. So that's. Okay, so I'm going to put it all together from um, at the beginning of the verse, nice and slowly. After and a four, three and four and. Okay, then the good news is we're going to repeat that, okay? So we do it again. Okay, so it's exactly the same. And then we're up to the bridge, where it says bridge number one. Now, we're going to be making that C chord idea again. Okay, so that's ring finger on the third fret on the A string and middle finger on the second fret on the D. You're going to be pinching thumb and middle. So thumb on the A string, middle finger on its obvious string. Index, thumb on the D, index. Then middle, index, thumb on the D. And there's a little tie with the beat there. One and two and then just your index finger on the second fret on the G string and playing thumb on the D, index, middle, index, then middle, middle. So from the beginning of the bridge, we've got this C idea that I've already shown you. Pinching top and bottom strings will continue. And then playing open E string, then third fret on the B, then lift up on the B, and then hit that again. So it's. That's quite easy, so concentrate on the rhythm. Then middle finger on the um, third fret on the thickest string, pinching thumb, middle, and ring as a pinch, and then ring on the open string, third fret on the B, then open. So I put it down, then I lift it up. Try to leave this three there the whole time. Sorry about that. <laughs> I do live near London. So index finger on the first fret on the B string now, pinching that with 
thumb, uh, index on the open G string, middle finger. I'll do that bar again. Okay, and finally we'll keep pushing on. We're going to go um, ring, middle finger on the third fret on the A string, ring finger on the third fret on the B string, and we're going to pinch that thumb, index, and middle put the index down as well at the same time. So it's kind of like a C add nine if you know that chord well. Okay, so index finger here. Pinching thumb, index and middle. Then thumb on the D, index, middle. Then index, thumb. Okay, so I'm gonna take it back to the beginning of bridge where we made that C shape. Um, after four round with me, three and four, and good now you notice that I used ring and pinky there to do that C add nine that's actually um, something I suggest you give a try if your pinky feels strong enough to do it and then finally, we're going to go to a D suspended second. So second fret on the G string, um, third fret on the B string. Give it a pinch, thumb index and middle, on, thumb on the D. And then I just go ring, middle, index. Ring, middle, index. And then we're into the chorus, which is the last part we're going to do today in video one. So we're going to be pinching thumb, index, middle and ring. Okay, I'll give you a recap of um, bridge one and chorus together at the end of the chorus. Chorus actually is one of the easiest bits, all right? So big pinch, thumb, index, middle and ring, thumb on the thicker string, then two open bottom strings, then third fret on the B, then make a C chord, pinch thumb on the A string, index, middle and ring, doing another big pinch, then so that's just three open bottom strings. And then whilst leaving that held down, just try to stretch that index finger to the second fret. I must admit, I do find that challenging sometimes. Try to stretch that down to the second fret on the thinner string. Good, then middle and ring, third fret on the thicker string, uh, ring finger on the third fret on the B string, pinching thumb, index and middle. Not quite a big pinch this time. Then open, open, open on the bottom, then this three. Index on the second fret on the uh, D, G string, pinching, thumb on the D, index and ring. Then three opens again, you'll get used to doing that. Then third fret on the B. So let's put that all together on the chorus. I'll start that again. Repeat the chorus, and it's the big part of the song. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. This was brought to you by brightonguitars.co.uk. As I said at the beginning of the lesson, I'll be releasing part two of this next week so you can finish the song off. Also, don't forget you can download the tab for free just by joining the LGIL student area. That's Learn Guitar in London student area. Uh, you can do that by clicking the I above and then following the link there or using the uh, link in the video description. Um, also, to play along with the full performance, that's going to be uh, at the end of this video. So you can um, skip to that once um, both parts are done and you can start playing along to the whole thing. I upload two new videos every week, so please subscribe. And if you have enjoyed my finger style stuff, then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Keep on playing and see you soon.